Right guys, so we are currently at Frank's uh, headquarters here. I'm sure you guys have seen this car for my Falcon audience. Big famous Falcon guy over here. Uh, we are currently putting the new wheels on the GTR. So I've well and truly cooked my back. So if you see me hobbling along, that is why. But um, yeah, not sure what the fitment is going to be like with these. So we'll, uh, we'll check. We've gone 20 by 10s on the front and 20 by 11 in the rear. I'm not exactly sure of the, uh, the offset off the top of my head, but we uh, will see. The only thing I'm worried about is I think they may sit a little in the guard on the rear. So we'll see how we go with that. Hopefully it's not too bad. I do have spaces on the car currently. Um, so yeah, we'll, we can possibly have a play around with that if they're the right size. Like if they need a 20 mil, I've got it. Anything less, I don't. But yeah, we'll get these things on and and see, because we're heading to a uh, an event out at Queensland Raceway today uh, with Growl Racing. So, huge shout out to Chris for throwing that. And uh, yeah, let's get some new wheels on this thing. moment we're just trying to see if that is too much poke once it's lowered down that does have the 20 mil spacer on but even the stock wheel when it's jacked up has got a bit of poke so this is the test to see if we uh if we need to take the spacer off i'm sort of thinking it's probably going to need a 10 mil spacer to be honest but we will see So we've uh, officially done the uh, fitment test. I've jacked that side up now, so it doesn't really count, but perfect with the 20 mil spaces. So we just got the rears on now and uh, doing the fronts. With these, you can jack the rear up together. There's a little jacking point under the rear diff, but the fronts you have to do uh, individually. So we've got the front right up now. We're gonna do that. Huge shout out to uh, Hursty here for being my, uh, my pit crew because yeah, my back is broken, as you'll probably tell from some of the clips Gemma's so gloriously filmed for me, of me groaning. <laughs> what a video that is. So there you go, full ricer on a GTR, cambers. installed now so super super sick these are the Koya SF10s um, this color is an upgraded color it's called gloss gray gloss GTR gray I think it is and uh, it is actually color matched to the gray at the bottom here which is super super sick I need to uh, clean the tires a bit because they are a bit dirty but yeah real cool we had to take the uh, spaces off the front here 
and they were 20 mil I reckon I'll probably get a 10 mil on it because they do sit in a little bit but the 25 mil spaces on the back are perfect yeah. welcome to my first unboxing video for the GTR now this is not something I've purchased the absolute legends at PVS Automotive actually sent me out whatever this is uh, not clickbait or anything I genuinely don't know what is in this box so Jamie hooked me up and said he was going to send me out a gift and it's a surprise for me just as much as it is for you so I'm not sure what's in it we're going to open it now but I wanted to give a huge huge thank you to PVS Automotive for whatever is in this box we're going to open this box up now and, and see what we got alrighty I already just tried slicing it did a bad job that one was better again I have no idea what this is Alright, I did open this. Uh, I still haven't seen what's inside yet. Gemma just took a little packaging slip out so I couldn't see what it was. However, I did see this, the sticker. And I'm going to say this is a coaster. Um, it comes with like a little double-sided tape, little foam thing. So maybe that's to go in the cup holders of the cars or something. But regardless, uh, that's sick. That is probably going to actually go on my little work desk here. But very cool. Now... Let's talk about it. Please read before installation. That is sick. All right, this is genuinely my first time seeing what these goodies are. I'm very, very excited. Wow. A bloody steering wheel. Holy. Damn, that is sick. Wow, that is cool. And a stubby cooler as well. Damn, that is wicked. Thank you guys so, so much for this. Damn. Full JDM spec too. That is sick. Thank you boys so much for this. Again, huge shout out to PVS. If I had the car with me, I'd go have a look what it would sort of look like inside, but... Wow, shout out to you boys, this is wicked. Thank you very much for that. So after looking at the little information thing they've got there, this is what they call the Nismo styled steering wheel. Uh, it will fit 08 up to 2016 for the 35. So if any of you GTR boys have any of those U models and are interested, definitely check them out. PVSautomotive.com. They've got stuff for a bunch of full drives. Again, for the Falcon boys, they have the paddle shift kit, which is sick, because if you didn't know, they obviously don't come factory with them. They have the like carbon fiber paddle shifters for the GTR, so like upgraded paddle shifters, head units, all that sort of stuff. So if you're into any of the interior electrical type things, definitely uh, check them out, PVS Automotive. And uh, thank you guys again so much for the goodies. I uh, yeah, I'm very stoked to see it on the car. On that bombshell, back to the program. All right, so we have made it to the show and shine now. Uh, awesome, awesome turnout. Just want to give a huge, huge shout out to uh, Chris from Growl Racing for uh, throwing this all together because a uh, good excuse to get the car out and uh, yeah, be alongside with some, uh, some fellow friends from back in my Falcon days and yeah, just see some awesome, awesome cars. There's another GTR here, just there, which looks friggin' awesome. And uh, another 34 GTR over there, just super, super cool cars out here. So everyone that's wearing the merch as well, shout out to you as well.